Hello, I'm Dr. Adams King, the superintendent of the Farrell Area School District. In a few weeks, the Farrell Area School District will reopen for in-person instruction and officially begin the 2020-2021 school year. It's no secret, though, that we do this in the middle of a global pandemic. The way we do business has and will continue to change in order to maintain the health and safety of our students and staff. Please keep in mind that these changes are not being implemented to inconvenience you, but these changes are going into effect in order to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Some of the changes I just talked about will include the following. There will be temperature checks for everyone entering our buildings through thermal camera scanning machines. Visitors will only be admitted to the building on an as need or limited basis. Any visitor coming into our buildings will be required to complete a screening, which will include temperature checks prior to being allowed into the building. Mounted hand sanitizer dispensers will be located in each classroom and hand sanitizing stations will be located in common areas. After classrooms are thoroughly cleaned each day, electrostatic disinfection foggers will be used to provide the rooms with additional disinfecting and sanitization. Cleaning products that will be used by our custodial and maintenance staff are from the CDC recommended list of cleaning and disinfecting products that are to be used to kill the COVID-19 virus. We have been known for our small class sizes, and we will continue to maintain cost small class sizes. Some of our elementary grade levels will eat breakfast and lunch in their classrooms in order to allow for a smaller number of students to eat in the cafeteria. We completed our renovation project prior to the pandemic beginning and our new heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system, it causes the state required amount of fresh air infiltration to occur in each classroom district-wide. Now these are just some of the changes and protocols that we will be implementing in order to keep our students and staff safe. Nevertheless, we realize that there are still some students who cannot return to this environment for medical reasons, and some whom you as parents may not feel safe sending back to school at this time. For those students, we will be offering our own virtual distance learning academy. Please contact the elementary or high school office for more information about that. You may also contact our Director of Curriculum and Instruction here at the central office for more information about distance learning as well. So let me conclude by saying this. Whether your child will be attending for in-person instruction or whether they will be receiving their instruction through our Distance Learning Academy, we look forward to welcoming them to the new school year. As always, please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. And thank you for your continued support and allowing us to partner with you for your child's education. Stay safe and we'll see you in a few weeks.